What is a respace? In 1988, there was a record called Just One Another Chance by Reese, and it had this amazing bass sound on it. By the way, the artist Reese is actually a pseudonym of Kevin Saunderson, one of the major techno pioneers out of Detroit. Anyway, in 1994 in the UK, there was a record called Terrorist by The Renegade featuring Ray Keith. That featured a sample of the bass sound from Just One Another Chance by Reese, and kick started a Reese mania that still got momentum 25 years later. There's still fresh Reese style sounds being created for modern music and there's still some mystery surrounding the original Reese sound and that's what we're going to go through together right now. I'm starting with an initialized instance of Retrolog 2. This is quite a simple virtual analog synth by Steinberg. It comes with Cubase. You can get it in all the usual plugin formats on Mac OS and of course Windows which I'm using now. And what I'll say is you could do this with another synth. I've actually tried this with a few other synths but this particular synth seems to give me the best results and I'll explain why as I go through it but you can pretty much get 99% of the way there with another synth with similar features and maybe there are other synths that I haven't tried yet that would be even better but let's have a look. So it's an initialized patch. Just general housekeeping I'm gonna set this to mono retrigger with glide so that it will only ever play one note at a time. I also want the first oscillator to be in triangle mode. Now this is the main ingredient of a Reese. It's two triangles detuned against one another. I'm going to turn the volume down on these to about 75% because I need a bit of headroom for a third oscillator that I'll be adding next. But here's the two triangles together. They're both free running and I just need to detune them. About 35 cents in either direction is pretty authentic I would say. Now I'm not saying that this is specifically the way that Kevin Reese Saunderson would have made the Reese on Just Another Chance. I don't really know. I don't really care. This is how we can get a very authentic sound. Now having the two detuned oscillators produces this kind of pulsating effect. then what we can do to thicken that up is add a third oscillator in the form of a sub which is one octave below the other two oscillators this is also a triangle so we effectively have three triangles but this one we want all the way up in volume now I should mention that I'm not too sure that 100% volume on the sub versus 75% volume on oscillators one and two I'm not sure that those numbers would translate to just any synth so if you're using another synth you'll probably have to tune this by ear but these are certainly approximations you can turn the sub oscillator up or down to your taste but this is a great starting point it's pretty authentic so let's go with this now you're probably thinking that sounds kind of crappy and kind of buzzy. We need a low pass filter and this is the reason why I find Retrolog 2 in particular sounds good for making respaces. What I've done is I have the filter in 100% key follow mode and I've tried every filter type that Retrolog has and I've found that the low pass 18 which is an 18 decibel per octave low pass filter gives me the best result. But anyway it's not just enough to have the right 18 decibel per octave low pass filter. The resonance character is very particular as well and on Retrolog 2 what I found is that I need that resonance all the way to the top and sweeping around there's a sweet spot where it just starts to sound very Reese like. Just for clarity, I'm not saying that Retrolog 2 is the only synth that can do this. If you want to try this with, I've tried Silent and Serum and Dune 2 and a whole host of other synths. They can do it, it just might take a little bit more fiddling around with the filter to get the precise sound. Or you might just not need it quite as authentic as what I've got it here. And you can improve that by just giving it some saturation. I've tried tape simulators, I've tried desk simulators. They all seem to improve the sound as long as you only push it just a little bit. So look, I'll roll out with the terrorist bass line with some saturation and some EQ on there. See what you think. Mm -hmm. 